My name is Sergeant Mathis Chereau of Iraq Veterans Against the War. I am right now uh, here in Hempstead, New York at the District Courthouse where the Hempstead 15 were arraigned this morning for disorderly conduct stemming from uh, an October 15th action at the final presidential debate where IVAW and its supporters came together to force the issue to the candidates that, that veterans of this country are not being heard from or cared for by our leaders and that, and that both candidates should make uh, should make caring for veterans a top priority in their administrations. Among those charged are Nick, is uh, Nick Morgan, who had his face stepped on on that sidewalk by a by a mounted police officer, and um, and he's had several reconstructive surgeries since that he's had to pay for to try and repair the damage uh, done unlawfully to him by an officer of this district. And um, and again, the the message from the Nassau County uh, Criminal Courts is that. Um, is that uh, Nick Morgan is a criminal for having been brutalized by one of our officers, and we will oppose that to the to the very bitter end. They are our brothers, they are our sisters, we support war resistance. They are our brothers, they are our sisters, we support war resistance. Um, I just want to thank everyone for coming out, first of all, in support of myself and my fellow Iraq veterans against the war. Yeah! Uh, and the very brave civilian supporters that we had out there with us today. Um, you know, I, I hope that a lot of you, especially from this area, are as appalled as I am at the actions of the uh, Nassau County Police Department and uh, the gross violations to the Constitution that uh, all of us veterans swore to protect and uphold yeah. against all enemies, foreign and domestic. The police officers in, uh, the night we got arrested were saying they have to abide by the Constitution as well. Amen. Well, according to my lawyers, they were in violation of the Fourth, Fourth, First, Fourth, Fifth, and Fourteenth Amendment. Right, so it's, uh, amongst a litany of other items and laws that uh, were violated. You know, it's kind of sad when uh, a veteran who, who was discharged honorably after serving uh, a tour in Iraq in Baghdad, uh, you know, can't come here and peaceably assemble, redress our grievances, and uh, you know, in turn, we abided by police law, uh, police orders. We were on the sidewalk and. You know, as far as I'm concerned, concern, we were brutally attacked. Yes. I wasn't at any rate. Um, so, you know, we just need to keep putting pressure on these people. And, um, you know, hopefully justice will be served. We'll stay with you as well. Thanks a lot, everybody. Yeah. Thank you.
brought out the horses and they were spinning them in front of us, uh, you know, kind of maliciously bumping into us. And once we got on the sidewalk, um, the last thing I remember was cops suddenly pulling people away. And um, that's, you know, everything's kind of blank from there for me. Um, I ended up, next thing I remember was being dragged across the street um, by a couple of police officers and uh, blood dripping from my face. He was shot one day! He was shot one day! So in the mud! Oh!